Well, I guess this uh, little blurb is for uh, You So Silly to Me and Sh Shark Attack and maybe a couple of more others that I don't know about who may hear my videos. And I'm hoping that you guys who hear my videos will somehow get this out because I'm not... Um, I'm not politically active. I'm not politically connected. Uh, I'm rooting for the Republicans. I am not necessarily anti-Democrat, but I am anti-socialist influence. The um, socialists have taken over Congress. I'm offended at the way socialism has taken over Congress. And it's it's infected the Republicans as well. So I'm really not partisan. I'm really a, a kind of a closet McCarthyite. I'm not very familiar with Joseph McCarthy. He was accused of being on a witch hunt as if he was trying to make a name for himself and exploit the Red Scare. He may have been, for all I know. I don't know. It doesn't really matter that much to me. What matters to me is that the, um, the, the communist infiltration and subversion that McCarthy talked about was real. But here, here is um, somebody I want to point out. I want to finger. Here's somebody I want to attack. He's not Negro. He's not a Yankee. He's not a Jew. As far as I know. He lives in Texas and represents an obscure little backwoods area of Texas. The people who live there are probably fine people. And they're probably very much like my neighbors because I live in an obscure part of South Mississippi. Not too far from the Galveston, Texas area. The congressman there, who claims to be a Republican is not a Republican, and I'll illustrate it this way. He appeared in the Republican debates, and he said that we deserve to be attacked on 9-11. Look, that's what he said. His followers defend him, but Ron Paul said we deserved to be attacked on 9-11. It was blowback for us having mistreated the Arabs Ron Paul said that Osama bin Laden told us to get out of the Middle East and we wouldn't listen. So he sent his terrorists to attack us. Now the only choice we have is to get out of the Middle East. That is Ron Paul. He is no Republican. I don't know what the heck he is. Rudy Giuliani heard that and jumped on him. Five stars for Rudy Giuliani. The communist backers around the world who promoted Ron Paul, knowing that he's a goofy old man, attacked Rudy Giuliani viciously and smeared him to the point that he had no choice but to drop out of the race, the same way they smeared Sarah Palin. The people who smeared Sarah Palin are the people who uh, backed Ron Paul. They are the people who backed uh, Osama Hussein Barack, uh, whatever his name, supposedly from Kenya. Uh, some of them are in the United States, and, and, and a lot of them are either openly socialist they may call themselves progressive, that's a code word, but a lot of these backers are associated with the international communist movement worldwide. Australia, Canada, Africa, Europe, China, Red China. It is these people who have... Uh, interfered with our politics. We're an open democracy and our people are naive. 
and our people are at the mercy of the leftist controlled media. Of course our voters are confused. The, the propaganda campaign launched by the worldwide leftist conspiracy targeting the American voter is intense. And that's what I have focused on for the past couple of years. I didn't see this um, subprime lending meltdown crisis coming. I wasn't aware of the banking regulations put in place by Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton. But um, Ron Paul began to talk about it early on, and from day one, he blamed the Federal Reserve Banking System, the Fed, which Ron Paul says he wants to abolish. This is madness. Every industrialized country needs a central bank. The Fed was set up by Congress and its chairman appointed by the president. They are meant to act independently of political influence. And their job is to stabilize the economy as best they can. This is in everybody's best interest. They try to keep everybody employed. They try to keep inflation low if they can. It's a balancing act in the course of trying to fulfill this mission they have to occasionally flood the market by lowering with with credit by lowering interest rates and keeping interest rates artificially low for an extended period of time it creates bubbles of overinvestment somewhere that's what caused the dot com bubble and uh that's what caused this recent lending bubble uh but ron paul is disingenuous outright fake and a menace by blaming the uh, bubble on the Fed because the Fed was trying to keep the economy stable in light of congressional deficits, 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 huge deficits, just mind-boggling deficits. The Fed has no choice right now but to hold interest rates very low will go into a depression if they don't to blame the fed is treachery it's treason ron paul should be deported he should be exposed he should be neutralized politically 